friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I actually have a huge haul for you from two stores. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will have nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain a 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, we would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let me flip you around and let's jump into the grocery haul. So the first part of my grocery haul this week is from Trader Joe's. Little Miss Lola had her one month checkup post chemo. She's 100% still in remission. She's doing really, really well. And they actually did blood work and a urine test, so I had time to run to Trader Joe's. So let me show you what I picked up. First, I got these flowers. These are so pretty. These mums last forever. And actually, they didn't charge me for these. They asked what I was doing today, and I told them that my dog was at her one month post chemo appointment and they gave me the flowers for no charge they're always so nice at Trader Joe's but these are so pretty I like to just have them out on my island they make me happy and then I got a lot of frozen things these are some of Troy's favorite so I got the ricotta and spinach filled ravioli the gorgonzola the creamy gorgonzola this one is so good I got myself frozen sweet potatoes because I thought that would be really easy as a side dish of course two bags of the chicken fried rice Troy and I both love this he really loves it so I got two bags and then I also got him the frozen fettuccine they did not have this last time and that's another thing that he really likes. These frozen meals, di side dishes from Trader Joe's, just make it so easy to put together a quick meal. I also got a lot of dog treats. So I got the jerky strips beef recipe. The dogs really liked these last time, the harvest brunch turkey, apple, and pumpkin waffle recipe. And then I got these turkey, chicken, and lamb dog treats. So one's mainly for Palmer. Lola can have some of them, especially since her protein and her urine is regulated, but mainly these are for Palmer. I also got my favorite bread. I've been out, so I'm so excited to have it back in my life. This is the sprouted wheat multi-grain bread. It has fiber, it has protein. It's the small slices, so it's perfect. I absolutely love that bread. And I did get a can of kidney beans for my meal prep or actually it might be for a dinner, for a dinner, and then a can of tomato sauce also for a recipe. I needed macaroni for a dinner recipe, and then I also just picked up a pack of spaghetti noodles just to have on hand for a really quick and easy dinner. I absolutely love these, and these are seasonal. There was just a few boxes left. She did mention that they're phasing out their fall stuff and going to be bringing in their Thanksgiving stuff, and then at the end of November, their Christmas stuff, so I'll have to go back for some Christmas goodies, but I love these pumpkin cranberry crisps. These are so good good and I am actually bringing a charcuterie board to Thanksgiving so I'm going to add some of those to the charcuterie board and then this is my favorite marinara in the world it's actually my all-time favorite and it's super affordable it's the organic tomato basil marinara from Trader Joe's and I thought again that and the spaghetti would make a fast dinner they did not have their little cheese tray that I normally buy. I actually asked the girl about it and she said that she's been trying to order it and it's not available. So I grabbed this extra sharp cheddar cracker cuts. We love meat, cheese, and crackers and that just makes it so easy. I also got my soft and juicy mangoes. I love these so, so much. These have the same macros as fresh mango, so I count them as zero points. They do technically have points. I do count the calories, but they to me are zero points on Weight Watchers. I also got a box of my favorite crackers, the multi-grain crackers. Again, meat, cheese, and crackers is one of my favorite things. And then, of course, I got my favorite cheese for that. I had a few of these while I was waiting for Lola. These are the Cascio e Pepe Puffs. Love these. They're one of my favorite little crunchy snacks. I also got some light cheddar cheese slices for myself and the light mozzarella, which is my favorite mozzarella cheese. I am going to make homemade pizza for dinner tonight. I did get a pizza dough, I'll show you that. And then I also got the Mexican blend, which is my other favorite cheese. Did a restock on my cumin. You cannot beat the prices for spices at Trader Joe's. I also got some more organic rolled oats. I really, really like these. And again, the price, you just, you can't beat it. 
This is the pizza dough that I got. It's garlic and herb. So I'm just going to make us a homemade pizza for dinner. I'm super excited for that. I also got the little holiday candle trio. So I bought the fall one and I love these. These are perfect to burn in my office. So we have cranberry pine, fresh currant and nutmeg, which are all the delicious Christmassy scent and I'm just afraid that this is going to sell out and I won't be able to get it So I went ahead and grabbed I think it was $8.99 for all three candles Very excited for this too. This is the harvest apple salad kit So it says spring mix unexpected cheddar cheese apple cinnamon chips and pecans with an apple vinaigrette Yum, I'm so excited for that 170 calories per serving and I'm going to put some of my real good chicken on top and that's going to be a delicious lunch. Very fall inspired. I also got some Granny Smith apples for my meal prep. Plus I made that homemade caramel dip in my Halloween baking video. This will be perfect. That kind of sour apple with the sweet caramel. Yum. And then I also got some little baby potatoes because I'm going to be making a pot roast this week. So that is everything that I picked up from Trader Joe's. I have one dog here and one dog here. So how about we try out the new treats? Yeah, I've never bought these ones. This Carvery Trio Turkey Chicken and Lamb. So we'll try those. Here is what they look like. Little one for the little dog. Oh, is it good? Here, Lola. Oh, you only got 20 million treats at the doctor. There you go. So that is everything from Trader Joe's. Let's jump into the rest of this week's grocery haul. So here is the rest of my grocery haul for the week. I went to my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. Let me show you what I picked up. Oh, what you don't see is three eight packs of Gatorade Zero for Troy. So the first thing I picked up is a zero sugar cake mix. This is actually for a recipe this next week. And then they had their Crest toothpaste, 99 cents a piece. That was such a good deal. It was a weekly digital coupon. So I picked up three. We are actually completely out of toothpaste. I use natural toothpaste, but Troy just uses regular. And seriously, 99 cents a piece is a great deal. I also got some roast beef for Troy. We still have ham left over from last week, but I wanted to give him just an extra option for lunch meat. I did pick up a couple of light and fit yogurts. So one toasted marshmallow and one caramel apple pie. Lasagna noodles, this is for a recipe. I got a big, huge box of instant white rice for Lola's, lunch, for Lola's food that I make for her. It was cheaper to actually buy the big, huge box rather than the small box. Some drinks, I grabbed a couple of gallons of 1% milk for Troy, and then also two gallons of his zero sugar iced tea, and I got myself Fair Life. I was almost out. I needed a can of fat-free evaporated milk for a recipe, as well as a can of diced tomatoes. Of course, if you know, you know, we get this almost every week. This is the seven layer dip. I was actually craving this the other day and almost went to the store for it, but knew that I would pick one up today. It is still on sale for $6.99. I love it. It's such a good snack and we still have tortilla chips left over in our cabinet. I needed a packet of chili seasoning for a recipe. Surprise, it's gonna be a chili recipe. And then I needed a slow cooker pot roast seasoning packet because I am going to throw pot roast in the crock pot tomorrow morning for dinner. I have some chicken broth for a recipe and some caramel sauce. Now, I didn't know what to get for caramel sauce. I really wanted the Smucker's lower sugar and they didn't have it. And the only low sugar option they had was the Skinny Girl and it was $7. So I just, I couldn't do it. So I decided to go ahead and just get regular caramel. We'll just use a little bit less. This is actually for my breakfast meal prep. I got some Chardonnay wine. I'm hoping this is considered a dry wine because I needed a dry white wine for a recipe. You know I don't drink alcohol, so whatever's left over from this will just most likely a toss. I did get some really good meat deals. There wasn't a lot, but I picked up everything I could find. So I got a pound of 80-20 ground beef. I can use this for Troy. I can also use this when I make Lola's food for the protein, $4.40. The Laura's, I really like this one because it's a no antibiotic beef, $5.79 and it is $93.7. And then this was a really good deal. Man, I wish there were more marked down, but it is the ground chicken, the extra lean, $2.75. I also use this in Lola food and I really like this ground chicken. So really, really good meat deals. Definitely just take a quick look and see if you're 
Kroger store has any meat deals. I also got Troy's Butter, the Country Crock Light. I got these little mini cranberry scones. I actually ate one of these on the way home. I love these. These were $1.25 and they're so incredibly delicious. They're just the perfect little size for a sweet treat. I got a big bag of onions because I'm completely out of onions. A orange bell pepper for a recipe and their raspberries and blackberries right now are four for five. That's a really good deal, $1.25 a pack. You can't beat it. So I actually got three packs of raspberries, one pack of blackberries, some celery for a recipe, and then I got baby carrots for the pot roast. That's a little pro tip for you. Buy baby carrots and buy the little potatoes, the ones I got at Trader Joe's. You don't have to do any cutting. You literally just throw it all into the crock pot. So I picked up a baby bag of baby carrots for that. So that is everything for the week for groceries. Let's jump into what's for dinners and in Monday's meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for the week. So I'm making a chili mac. You guys will actually see that in Wednesday's what I eat in a day. And then like I mentioned, we're gonna have pot roast. And then here is Monday's meal prep. I'm so excited for this. I'm making caramel apple overnight oats. I haven't had overnight oats in so long and caramel apple sounds amazing. For lunch, I'm doing Italian wedding lasagna soup. We're pairing two of my favorite soups together. And then for dessert, I'm making pumpkin dump cake. I'm actually really excited for this as well. So stay tuned for all three recipes on Monday. Thanks for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Trader Joe's and my local fry store, Kroger store. I got some good deals. We have a lot of fall vibes still happening, which makes me really happy. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, and don't forget to stop by the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Definitely come join us. We're doing our Christmas card exchange. I love it. It's such an amazing time of year in my Facebook group. It's free to join and we would love to have you. Happy, happy Saturday and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.